it's Saturday the 22nd of May 2021 and this is Barry G8 AGN Portable and I'm doing a 30 terahertz test with Bob G4 APV Portable and we're at the site of the Finningley Amateur Radio Society which is about um, a 40 mile drive from Sheffield. At the moment we set the system up in the Finningley field which can be about 100 metres or so from uh, one end to the other and at the moment we're just transmitting a, a signal as you can see here and this is the other end of the link which is 65 meters away from the transmitter and there's Bob on the right hand side who's attempting to receive the signal and then on the left is Kevin uh, G3AAF who's uh, the um, host for today at Finningley, just in front of the tree line. Got dropped out again. It's just mm. yeah. lots of lost one. Yeah, yeah lost character. Yeah. So that must be that. now swapped the equipment round end to end so the uh, receiver is now where the transmitter was before and we are receiving the uh, steady tone signal from the far end so this is over a distance of 65 meters so there's Bob at the far end waiting to transmit to me. This is G8AGN, Barry, and I'm with Bob, G4APV again at uh, the Finley Amateur Radio Club site and we're hoping to try some more um, 30 terahertz testing. Bob is standing about 40 meters away now from the receiver and he has a square aluminium plate in his hand which he's going to use to try and reflect the sun uh, in the direction of the receiver. What we're waiting for at the moment is for the sun to come out again. Uh, it's clouded over just at the moment. So we're just waiting. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's, that's a very, very strong signal we're seeing now. Very strong, it's overloading the receiver in fact, it's so strong. So Bob is still walking back, he must be at least uh, 60 metres away now I would have thought. There we are. So we, he's going back towards, hopefully towards the end of the path we've marked out. square aluminium plate and we can see that we're getting a massive signal from this at 105 meters when the sun is out. So Bob is using, he's standing by the side of the, of the hot plate source um, just to sort of give me a reference 
but that does seem to work quite well. Obviously we're at the mercy of the sun today because the sky is quite cloudy so we're having to wait for intervals for the, uh, the sky or, or for the sun to clear away from the, uh, the cloud. Okay this is showing you a, a far out shot now and Bob is again going. There we are. So this is a massive signal that we're hearing at the moment from the flashes. So this is at 105 meters, 105 meters at the moment. But at the moment we're not hearing anything from the So we're now doing a comparison between two receivers over this 105 metre path using the tilting plate as the uh, signal source. And the signals we're getting are very strong. We're getting anywhere between 3 and 5 degrees um, excess temperature when the, uh, when the plate is aligned. The alignment of the plate is quite difficult because Bob's doing it by hand at the moment. But the signals are extremely strong. Uh, there we are. So we're testing the left hand receiver at the moment. So this is Bob and Kevin. You're between the two, aren't you? And, uh, I'm on the left hand one, if anything, there, because it's quite a bright reflection. But when you move it, adjusting the uh, plate by hand. And what they're trying to do is to illuminate the two receiver dishes individually. They, they won't be able to do them both at the same time. Yeah, you can see the changes. Which one are you looking at at the moment? I'm flung switch on oh, backwards see. and forwards between them because that's actually easier to see it moving. You could send it bit and does that way. Yeah, the sending absolutely, getting it and keeping it light absolutely is quite difficult. I've lost it now. So is that the left hand one? That's the left hand. Yeah. Yeah. You can see there's a much brighter reflection. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've got this on zoom, but I, can't, I find it hard to tell whether you're looking at the right hand one or the left hand one. I'm doing the left hand one. Yep. But it's on a tripod, really. It's not very stable. Yeah. Well, I've got a tripod. No, I meant me. Yeah, but I mean in the future, I'll bring you a, uh, oh, yes. a camera tripod. Yeah. So that's the left one you're looking at. You're moving, that's the left. You're, you're moving that fraction to the mill almost. Oh yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, that's why I don't think the actuator will be a problem. No. Whoops, it's the wind that catches yeah. it. No, I've lost it because of the wind. Yeah. Well, I heard it then. Yes, yeah. thought I could hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I think the volume's turned up fully on both of them at the moment. It's a little windy at the minute. Yeah. Hear something. So we've now moved one of the receivers back by another 10 meters. So that's 125 meters. So I beg your pardon, 115 meters. And the uh, plate source has now also been moved. So that may be another 10 metres as well. So we're probably getting up to 120 metres or something like that by now. And you can hear, in fact, the uh, receiver, the further of the two receivers from my viewpoint. That is now picking up the signal um, from the flashing plate. So this is now looking towards the plates at the far end of the field. There we are. There's the activity going on at that end. And uh, Bob is in charge of the plate at the moment. Okay, he's now starting to flash. The alignment of the plate is very critical. Um, very critical indeed, but when it's there, the signal is extremely strong.
Yes, the alignment is very difficult. Temperature, in fact, uh, probably slightly over.